This is a story about four girls. Nellie, Tiffany, Chloe, and Lucy. They didn't all make it out of Crown Lake. No one who crosses me ever does. Calliope, what's with the uniform? Cute, right? Ari, can you stop texting your boyfriend for two seconds? Sorry. I've got to go. Don't be late to my speech. Wait. First day back, sister photo. Never say. Smile. Say. I'll see you guys in night. I took a little break, but now I'm back. And I've got high hopes for the new class. Yo, boys dorms are this way, dude. But that's relevant to you because you are not a boy. What else you knew here? How'd you figure that out? The bags, the uniform, the math. And you were joking. Yes, I'm new. From California. I'm Molly. Danny, need help with your bags? I'm good on my own, but thanks. Oliver, you really didn't have to do that. I know I didn't have to. I wanted to. I missed you over winter break. I should go find Lisa. You're gonna see her every day. What about me? I love you, Ari. I love you too. I just... Uh, can we help you? I'm Molly King. This is my room. This is my room. Well, there are two beds, but Lisa's my roommate. Who's Lisa? This must be a mistake. I need to talk to my sister. No offense, but don't get unpacked yet. Do you mind? The friends you meet at Crown Lake will be your family for life. So get involved. As you know, this year's our 100 year celebration and I still need volunteers for the Centennial Planning Committee. Where have you been? Are you okay? In other news, Headmistress Chloe's wife just had her baby so she will be on maternity leave this semester. So let's welcome our new interim headmistress, Headmistress Baker. Oh. Thank you all for that lovely welcome. You know, I was a student here myself and made some lifelong friends. And I look... Sorry. ...forward to getting to know each and every one of you. So, welcome back. And don't forget, I'll see you later here in the Great Hall for some refreshments. Molly King! I know you're far from home, but Crown Lake is different than California. Is this some sort of fashion statement? No, I just prefer pants. I sort of think what I want to wear is my own business. Not at Crown Lake. You're free to accessorize and express yourself, though. Um, this is all I brought. Then you'll just have to order more. I'm sorry, but I can't bend the rules. Electra, what the heck? You messed up the room assignment. What do you mean? Lisa's not my roommate anymore. She requested to switch. I'm sorry, I thought you knew. Hi, how is everybody doing? Oh my gosh, I love your bag. There are people who could pull off that look, honey. You aren't one of them. Give me your number, honey. I promise to text you if I care. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, don't be such a Heather, Felicity. It's not cute. That's Felicity Wilde and her lapdog, Ashley. I'm afraid you've made an enemy. Heartbreaking. What's a Heather? Basically, Crown Lake sign for a mean girl or a bully. It's a long story. I'm Callie, by the way. Let me give you the lay of the land. That group of boys over there, any of those guys are good to date, except Reese, total player, and Oliver, who's dating my sister, Ari. Ari's your sister? You can't tell? Kidding, we're all adopted. That's cool. I'm bored. Want to play a game? Okay. Yeah, sure. Truth or dare? You first. Dear? Hey, Mom, sorry I haven't called. Wait, they called you? No, I just need to order more. Mom, stop. Why would I want to embarrass Nick? I'll handle it. Yes, bye. It's almost lights out. Better move along. You weren't even going to tell me you requested a new roommate? Can we talk about this later? Listen, if this is about- Not now. She can't even hear us. Yes, I can. But I'm leaving. And I don't care. You can't seriously want to room with Morgan McQuaid over me. She thinks she's in the Matrix. Listen, if this is about- I just wanted to branch out, okay? Cutting it close to lights out. Yeah, be careful. This place is haunted, you know. I don't believe in ghosts. I'm not talking about ghosts, but there are stories. What kind of stories? Remember Heather? Callie, don't scare her. She should know. Girls used to bully each other using the name Heather, but some girl in the 90s thought it was like real. One of them started a fire that burnt down the old theater building. Her friend was trapped and died. Who started the fire? A girl named Nellie Chambers. Why did she do it? When the firefighters arrived, all Nellie kept repeating was, Heather did it, Heather did it. She left Crown Lake in shame and nobody's heard from her since. Maybe, maybe Heather finally got her. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Heather. <laughs> Reese, get back to your dorm before I write you up. Sweet dreams, Molly. Did you go through my stuff? No. to do that? Yep. Protocol. Single file, everyone stay calm. Is that a boy's uniform? It's mine. Show's over. Back to bed. Don't worry, headmistress. It's just little old me.
You're probably wondering what happened to Nelly and her friends. around as the show's just getting started. Each of us has a story. But how do we know which ones are true? stories we're just telling ourselves. The truth is, we all have secrets. But the funny thing about secrets is, they have a way of getting out. Many of you have expressed your concerns over what happened last night. But I want you to know Crown Lake is a safe space. Bullying will not be tolerated. And those responsible will face severe consequences. Consequences? Who cares? I'm just sorry you have to live with her. Are you listening? Yeah, it's just Lisa's not talking to me. She'll get over it. You wanna hang out later? Take your mind off it. I can't. I have a lecturer's meeting. Then after dinner at seven, I've got this great idea for a date. I, um... What? Sounds great. Sorry to start with everyone's least favorite thing to do, but we have to do it sometime. Winter reading, pop quiz. Winter reading? The list of books we were sent. I thought that's what we were gonna be reading this semester. Good luck. Lisa, are you seriously gonna make me yell across the quad? I have to rehearse. What about the centennial meeting? I had to drop an extracurricular. You mean you needed to drop me? I have to keep my scholarship. Without violin, I'm a goner. Can you be a human being for five seconds and talk to me? There's nothing to talk about. Molly? I didn't do the winter reading. If I remember correctly, you wrote your emissions essay on comic books as modern day myths, right? Yeah, that was me. It was brilliant. You have some very interesting ideas, Molly. Oh, and don't worry about this. Your lowest test grade gets dropped. I know Crown Lake can be a lot, but keep your chin up. And remember, people here are rooting for you. Thank you. Oh, and do the readings. Centennial celebration will be top priority this semester and everything will go flawlessly, our heads will roll. Got it? <laughs> Ari, late. Typical. Reese, you're in charge of the sports retrospective for the event. Got it? Thumbs up, boss lady. Morgan, you're in charge of the website for ticket sales. Already on it. Don't make it matrix themed. <sighs> Fine. Good. Now we need to think about a theme. Ideas, anyone? 
What if we did something 90s themed? People can dress like Britney and Justin. No offense, but this needs to be classy. Oh, oh, simulation theory. We can have a rating code, we just dress like robots. We're not doing that. Simulation theory? Yeah, um, we're just software designed by AI. Here, check out my app, The White Rabbit. Kelly, please tell me you have some ideas about entertainment. Yeah, I was thinking we could put a student showcase together. It's kind of like Centennial, not amateur night. We need professionals. There's a group performing at the chapel tonight at 7. Check them out. It's at 7? I'll come with you. You sure? You don't have to. No, I'd love to. Look at this. On Morhen's app, there's a theory about the crazy power loose in the girls' dorm. You designed this whole app? It's pretty legit, Morgan. Can we stop talking about an app with four deranged users in focus? Hey, if you're ready for the red pill, talk to me after. So who posts all your articles? The contributors can choose to be anonymous. That's the whole point. How many subscribers do you have? Uh, it's still pretty underground. That's where I could use your help. Seriously? Mm-hmm. You want my help? Electra doesn't seem to. And that's because she's a control freak. But with your help, this could be the voice of Crown Lake. Here. Reach out when you're ready. Yo, Cal. Ollie. Hey, what's up? I need a favor. I had a big thing planned with Ari tonight, but she said she had to help you, so. I had to. She volunteered. Oh, I mean, yeah, I do need her, absolutely. Uh, but but if you already have plans, feel free to steal her away. Um, but, but she did not volunteer. Um, she didn't. <laughs> okay, bye. She did not volunteer. Hey, Ari. Just wanted to say hi since we can't hang out tonight. I know, I'm so bummed, but you know how my sisters are. So then why did you volunteer? What? I... What aren't you telling me? You don't love me anymore? I don't know if I love you like that yet. We've been together since the seventh grade. I know, and you're my best friend, but I just thought those feelings would come. Are you breaking up with me? I just don't know if it's fair to you. Is there someone else? No. How do you think this makes me look, huh? Who is it? You need to chill out. I'm so sorry, Ollie. Thanks for saving me back there. What was his deal? He's just hurt. He's not wrong. There is someone else. Can I trust you? Remember my old roommate, Lisa? We kissed last semester. And it was like fireworks, you know? But it totally freaked her out. It doesn't mean she doesn't feel the same way. Then why is she ghosting me? She's probably scared. It still really hurts. I'm sorry. Here, a distraction. I found this under the floorboard under my desk last night. Senior year, Nellie Chambers Diary, 1996. The girl from the fire, right? Molly, she was crazy. If you're finding this, things did not work out for me at Crown Lake. Heather is real. That's so creepy. I also found this note. I found it before the fire, and it says, Welcome to Crown Lake Molly. Time to play by the rules. Signed H. Heather. It was probably Felicity or Ashley. So you don't think I should tell? Heather is just a game, but Nellie, she was real. 
promise me you'll throw that book away, okay? Last time you picked dare. Truth or dare? You first. Dare? Felicity, I need to talk to you. What's up? What happened last night? Someone set Molly's clothes on fire? You really know how to take a dare to the next level. <laughs> But it wasn't me, I just put them outside. Whatever you say. But someone's blackmailing me. This time, Lisa, you pick truth. Mythology is full of heroes and monsters. What happened to Lucy? But whether you're the hero or the monster depends on who's telling the story. Even Nellie knew that. <sighs> Heather did it. Who? Me. I'm almost done. I'm just working on shoring up the encryption. I say we send it out now. <laughs> Are you sure they're ready for this? If you want it to be the voice of Crown Lake, we need an audience. Miss Rose used to say Crown Lake is a series of locks, and every lock has a key. I bet Heather has every key she needs. Molly, you still have this? This is crazy, Ari. Nellie said Heather blackmailed everyone, and she had underground passages to move around the school. She has eyes and ears everywhere. Tiffany, Lucy, and even Chloe. Maybe they're all moles. Molly, she sounds delusional. Maybe, but what if she's right about the secret passages? And listen to this. The fire claimed the life of Lucy Quint and injured two others, seniors Eleanor Chambers and Henry J. Smith. See, someone got hurt. If you continue this, you're gonna get hurt too. Trust me, drop it. Tick tock, Lisa. It's time. White Robin, the voice of Crown Lake. The real reason Crown Lake's cutest couple calls it quits? Ari cheated on Oliver. Can you believe her? Ariadne, when exactly were you gonna tell me that you and Ollie broke up and that you cheated on him? What? I have news. Who died? Look what Morgan's horrible app just posted. I have to go. Sweet little Ari Lee is not as innocent as she looks. You okay? Never better. Why do you think I dumped her? I thought it was the other way around. Don't be stupid. I'm not interested in sloppy seconds. Besides, I've already got someone else in mind. Great choice. I read that one a few times. Really? It's one of my favorites. Have you seen the original movie? It's way better than the remake. How's the ancient lit reading going? Ask me in about three weeks. You know, when I get a lot of work, I like to get some fresh air. In fact, I'm gonna go right now. Wanna come? Sure. X equals 25. No, it doesn't. X equals dinner tonight? Like the two of us? Yeah, like a date. Ollie, you and Ari broke up like two seconds ago. Come on, I'm sure you've read about what she did to me. You switched rooms to get away from her. Seems like we already have something in common. 
Think on it. Um, did he just ask you out? I think so. <laughs> I am so jealous I could poison you. Don't worry. She's kidding. <laughs> of course. Mostly. He and Ari never made sense to me at all. But you two would be cute, and dating a boy like that would certainly raise your social status. Sorry. I forgot something. Lisa! Morgan! Mm. You have to fix this. I told you that not everyone deserves the power we've given them. Whatever, Morgan, we need to take this post down. But if we do that, where does the censorship end? Come on, Morgan, this is my sister's life on the line. Please, for me. Fine. Yes. Ari, wait. Are you okay? Since when do you care? Taking some space is one thing, but Felicity and Ashley flirting with my ex? It's not like I said yay. Seriously. What's wrong with you? It's complicated. It's not complicated. You're either a good person or you're not. Easy for you to say. What do you mean? It means when you have money and a family like yours, you don't ever have to think about fitting in. It's not automatic for the rest of us. You have no idea. <laughs> so, California's a long way away. That was the appeal for my stuffed down neck. Don't you ever get homesick? More like homesick for a home that doesn't exist. My mom left when I was a kid. I know how you feel. I'm sorry, Danny. Every lock has a key. Every what? Um. I, I have some studying to do. Molly, I've been looking for you. I just had the worst conversation with Lisa. She was flirting with Oliver and then blamed everything on me. Wait, what are you doing? I've seen this work in movies. Molly! You coming or not? What are we doing in here? Nellie was right. This doesn't look like a secret passageway. Let's just keep looking around. It's literally a pink closet. Let's get out of here before we get caught. Too late. Miss Lee, I am very disappointed in you. Your family has a stellar reputation at the school. I know, headmistress. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you are. Makes me wonder if Miss King might be the problem. I really... This is your second strike, Miss King. Hardly an auspicious beginning. You should both consider your behavior during detention this weekend. Detention? You're lucky it's not suspension. I think you're bad news, miss. I want you to stay away from my son. 
Your son. Molly, what's going on? Why are you in my dad's office? I'll meet you outside, Danny. Hank, the janitor, is your dad. Wow, you are like everyone else. Like the lady said, Miss King, hardly an auspicious beginning. But don't worry, Molly. Endings can be more fun than beginnings. The Greeks have a lot of scary myths. But to me, the most terrifying is the story of Cassandra. The god Apollo gave her the ability to see into the future. But when she dumped him, he turned her power into a curse. She could still see what was going to happen, but when she tried to warn people, no one would believe her. Maybe the truth will set you free, but watch out. It could just land you in detention instead. Crown Lake is a series of locks, and every lock has a key. We should probably head out if you want to get breakfast before detention. 760.994. Does that mean anything to you? Maybe like a phone number with a missing one? You've got to be kidding. What? It's nonsense. This is what got us in detention in the first place. Nellie was right, it's a puzzle. What's the point in solving a 25-year-old puzzle? I don't think Nellie is crazy. What happened to her is unfair. Someone ruined her life. So why are you pushing them to do the same thing to us? I have to go. I'll just meet you there. I can't believe you have detention. This isn't like you. I know. Is there something going on with you? Are you acting out because of Ollie? Is this because of the new roomie? Listen, I just made a mistake, okay? Go easy on her likes. Having detention is punishment enough. Well, her timing couldn't be worse because there's an important centennial meeting today. About that. What? Did I not tell you I have dance practice? Are you kidding? It was scheduled last minute, but I'll be there as soon as I can. Love you. Bye. Danny, I was looking for you. I have stuff to do. I no, can't. Please. Sorry. Really. I'm so, so sorry. It's OK. I'm used to it. He's the weird guy, right? The janitor. Danny, please. I need to make it up to you. Here. Have you read it? It's my favorite. It's first edition. All you rich kids here think you can do whatever you want and throw your parents' money at it, and everything will be OK. I thought you were different. Here, I'm just the janitor's kid. I wouldn't want to get your precious first edition dirty. I want the whole yard raked and cleared by lunchtime. Come drop off the equipment when you're done. Yes, sir. So, do you want to start with the leaves or should I? Molly, hello. His keys. What? Hank has the keys to everywhere. Like the secret passages in the theater building. Molly, Hank is not Heather. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying he maybe has the right key and he doesn't know it. Stop. Look where we are. This is what your obsession has gotten us. A full day of cleaning up garbage. Isn't it enough? So, we lost control. Someone's hacked in and locked us out. How did you let this happen? I don't know. Look, the only way someone could get access is if they had the password. Did you write it down? No. The only other person I sent it to was you. Me? What? When? The other day, when you texted me. I... <sighs> you idiot! Why would I need the password? I'm the one who gave it to you. I thought you were forgetful or something. <laughs> you fell for a phishing scam. I'm sorry? <sighs> you okay? I'm fine. 
I've really messed up things with Danny. Why didn't you tell me about Hank? He doesn't like to advertise it. Kids have been making fun of his dad forever. You could have told me too, you know. So this is my fault? I didn't know you liked Danny. I didn't even know you knew him. You know what? Maybe we just shouldn't talk. Fine. Sorry to interrupt. Danny, hi! I think there's something you should see. I'll finish it up. Don't worry about it. Felicity, I thought you had dance practice. No. I'm on the dance team. Did you know that? Sweet. What are you up to? And don't lie to me again, Calliope. Uh, uh, the white rabbit. Please don't tell me you're helping her with this. Talk. You told me not to lie? What? So you go in the laundry room and steal girls' underwear now? What is wrong with you? Well, maybe it was whoever you cheated on me with. <laughs> this is too juicy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with all of you? <laughs> I'm sorry about breaking in and hurting Danny's feelings. Danny's tough. He's had to deal with a lot. A place like this, it ain't easy. Give me your forms. Henry J. Smith? What about it? You were in the fire. That was a long time ago. If I were you, I'd worry more about the future than digging up the past. Now get out of here. I've got things to do. Nice to see you're wearing the proper attire, Miss King. The last thing I need is more detention. <laughs> That's the spirit. This is Tiffany. Tiffany St. Martin. Molly! Ari! Are you okay? I heard what happened. Forget about it. Listen, I found something. So did I. But what they did to you was just really bad. Just forget about it. Listen, there's a door in the library. Yeah? No, no, no. Like, like the code is the Dewey Decimal System, and there's a secret door, and then like a secret passageway. I knew it! Nellie was right. Yes. Wait, what did you find? Headmistress Baker was roommates with Nellie at Crown Lake. She was there the night of the fire. So, what do we do? We need a plan. According to Nellie's diary, someone was funding Tiffany's tuition. What if it was Heather? What if Tiffany was working with Heather? 
But just because Tiffany could have set the fire doesn't mean she did. Remember, they were friends. What are you doing? I need to talk to him, Mistress Baker. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with all of you? Um, guys, are you seeing this? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with all of you? Just take the whole site down. Now! What do you think I'm trying to do? How could we let this happen? Whoever hacked us is really good. I can't get control. Dig as much as you want, but a bone is just a bone unless you know what skeleton it belongs to. And frankly, sweetie, you're out of your depth. All right, you keep up the good work in history. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Miss King, you seem to be going out of your way to stir up trouble today. Kind of like Nellie, right? Nellie Chambers, your old roommate. <laughs> she was remarkable, had so much potential. She should have been great. You still can, Molly. What really happened that night? A tragic accident. We lost Lucy. We almost lost Nellie, too. Was it an accident, or was it Heather? I'm only going to say this once, Miss King. There is no such thing as Heather. How can you be so sure? It's bullying. Plain and simple. Nellie got caught up in it. She played with fire, and she got burned. Now, more importantly, your disciplinary hearing is set for next week. Wait, my what? Three strikes, Miss King. It's just policy. Oh, shoot, oh my God. Ari! Should we hang out later? Why would I ever say yes to that? People already think we are. We might as well have fun. <sighs> I was kidding. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Agamemnon sacrifices favorite daughter to win the war. Why? Yes, Danny. Because he killed Artemis's stag. So a stag for his daughter. Does that seem fair? No, not at all. The great gods were notoriously vengeful and jealous. Like Heather. Excuse me? Why do we glorify them? The gods are horrible. That's a good question. Anyone? Because they have powers. There's nothing we can do. We're mere mortals. So what are we, like lambs to slaughter? We can fight back. We have to. Don't forget, guys, midterms next week, they are worth 40% of your grade. Come in. Oh. Hey. Hey, uh, is Morgan here? I needed her help with something. Let me guess. Take down the Ari me? <sighs> Trust me, she's trying. What do you mean trying? Her sight light got hacked or something. What am I supposed to do? Sit here and do my math homework while I become the school-wide joke? What kind of math? <sighs> Trinomials? Let me see. So we have two binomials here. And if we multiply them, that's how we get the trinomials. X squared plus. Four X plus. Four? Exactly, a perfect square. Thank you. To be honest, math has been super hard without your help. I miss having someone to explain this to. Anyway, um, what about the quadratic ones? Greek tragedies really get you fired up, huh? This place is driving me crazy. The popular kids, headmistress Baker, and nobody tells the truth. So you're drawing a map of Crown Lake? This is the original building plan. That explains everything. Your dad doesn't want you involved with me. I'm my own man, Molly. Okay, boy who is almost a man. Okay, well, if you're not scared, Mr. Man, why don't you come with me? Come with you where? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. What's going on? Are you coming or not? Instead of x squared, imagine it's 1x squared and then split the x between the parentheses. Ari, are you even paying attention? Honestly, no. I'm just thinking... About that dumb meme? People are gonna forget about that by tomorrow. Will I ever feel normal again? Ari, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. What? What aren't you telling me? It's nothing. You just got a mysterious text. Did you just do laundry? Lisa, was it you? You can tell me. Oh my gosh, it was you. You humiliated me. I had no choice, she's dangerous. Who, Felicity? Not Felicity, you know who. I see it clearly now. I wish I never kissed you and I wish I never met you. This is the secret passageway. What are we even doing? What are we even doing down here anyway? The fire, the one your dad was in? They blamed Nellie Chambers, they kicked her out of school, but I don't think it was her fault. It's been decades, why do you care? Because I found Nellie's diary, and I think she was framed. I think someone else set the fire. And they're hiding under the school? The cops said no one was in the theater building the night of the fire, but they didn't check underground. Ah, excuse you? I'm scared of rats. I think that was a mouse. Not crazy about those either. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. So this is the old boiler room. That's weird. It looks new. We're directly under the theater building, meaning... There's a secret passage connecting the campus to where the fire was. Exactly. I'm so happy I could... Could what? I could do that. Wow. Come on, let's get out of here. life, I've done what's expected of me, but after the last few weeks, I'm tired of playing by the rules. For the last few weeks, I've been the target of rumors, ridicule, mockery, and pranks. So if I'm going to be crucified for being someone I'm not, I might as well be honest about who I am. I'm not writing this to clear my name or to point the finger at anyone else. I broke up with someone I couldn't love because I realized something about myself. I'm gay. No one deserves to be treated like this. Do better, Crown Lake. Of you. Can we throw you a coming out party? Get you some rainbow swag? <laughs> and you can tell me anything. I hope you know that. Thank you. Your article was awesome, Ari. Thanks. It's cool that you're gay. Now I get why you weren't into me. I'm straight and I'm not into you. Oh, huh. it's weird. Once again, I'm learning something deeply personal and important about my sister on the internet. Just give her some time. Will you do me a favor? Molly has a disciplinary hearing later. Will you try to talk to Electra? I'll try my best, but you know her. <gasps> oh, 
Ari's article is blowing up. The White Rabbit is not built for this much traffic. It's that popular? Literally everyone is reading it. I need some air. Well, um, are you okay? And that's about time. Finish up your final sentences and pass in your tests. So? So I think I aced it. Mine is question four. I didn't ace that. No, not about the test. By your hearing, today, right? Today, indeed. Hey, sorry, but there's something I have to do. Where is everyone? Ari skipped too? Does this entanglement not matter to anyone else but me? Would it kill you to be a little more supportive? If she cared how I felt, then she would have told me in person. Lex, she probably wanted to. I can't have this conversation right now. How are we doing with flyers? I have to go prepare for the hearing and nobody's here. Listen, Lex, I got the flyers covered. Don't worry. Just go easy on Molly, okay? Why? Because she's right. And Ari's right too. This place is stuck in the past. Crown Lake shouldn't be on the wrong side of history. History is exactly why it's important. It's what makes the school special. Hey. If you're here to apologize, it's fine. I'm over it. Apologize? How could you do that? Do what? The article? People are going to put it together and I'm not ready to talk about this with strangers. I can sympathize with that, Lisa, but what I don't understand is why you would bully me. You weren't listening to me. Someone's been blackmailing me all semester. She has footage of me throwing Molly's uniform outside the night it got burnt up. That was you? No, but she's making it seem like it and she's making me do all kinds of terrible things. I kept getting in deeper and deeper. Well, the truth's out now. Might as well tell Felicity we know it was her. It's not Felicity, Ari, it's Heather. She has proof, pictures, and I would be kicked out of here in a second. My parents don't have money like yours. Is that what you want, me to leave forever? Of course it's not what I want, Lisa, but what do you expect me to do? Keep all of this bottled up? I got a message from Heather this morning. She says she will stop, but that's only if Molly backs off of her investigation. Hi guys, we're protesting the dress code. Hey, got time to protest the dress code, right? We're protesting the dress code. Join me, come on, let's protest the dress code, right? Hey, we're protesting the dress code. I don't know if you knew that, but we're protesting the dress code, okay. Morgan, I need your help. I'm a little busy right now. This can't wait. I have news, big news, and I need you to post it on the White Rabbit. What's your scoop? The fire in the 90s. It was actually an elaborate frame-up perpetrated against Nellie Chambers through secret underground passages. I think the arsonist was Headmistress Baker herself. Huh. Wow. I like it. I need to post on White Rabbit, but every time I click post, it says error. Welcome to my life. Someone hacked the app a few days ago, and I haven't been able to take it back. Here, send it to me, and I'll try and upload it. Got it. <sighs> Here goes nothing. The whole site just crashed. What? How? Can we get it back? <sighs> I can do one better. Whoever's on the other side of this just made a big mistake. Now that the site's offline, I can put it on a local server and get control of the site back. <sighs> Two things, Molly. First, I don't like working with someone looking over my shoulder. Also, your disciplinary hearing started 10 minutes ago. TikTok. <sighs> Not a great start, Miss King. 
so sorry. Electra, can we get started? The student bylaw states that students must wear uniforms during all official school activities unless otherwise specified by school administration. Failure to comply will result in disciplinary hearing. Molly, you now have the opportunity to make your case. Wait, I have to speak? Thank you for joining the protest. Here are your skirts. All right, let me give you a pair of pants. All right, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for joining the protest. Here, take your pants. You can go up and change. Here, let me give you a blazer. All right, thank you so much for joining the protest. The dress code is very vague and dated and and honestly, pretty discriminatory. And I know that we can accessorize and wear. What we learn, not what we 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 wear. Order, order, please. Some of us have stuff to do today. Order. What we learn, not what we wear. What we learn, not what we wear. They gave me a verbal warning, but they're going to review the uniform policy. Crown Lake is finally entering the 21st century. That's great, Molly, but listen, we really need to talk. Thanks. I think your article had a lot to do with it. Everyone loves it. Not everyone. We need to talk. Molly. I got the white rabbit back up, and when I did, this popped up. It's a riddle, like someone's posting from the basement. Danny. Do you know where your dad is right now? Excuse me? Are you really accusing my dad of doing this? Wait, Danny, that's not no, what- wait, Molly, there's something else. The post came from your phone. My phone, it's gone. Hey, there you are. You said you wanted to talk. Um, have you seen my phone? Someone's going after Lisa and I because of you. What are you talking about? Whoever it is, they're making Lisa do all of these terrible things because of you. Because you kept breaking the rules and pushing the limits. You're the reason Heather is back. You need to stop. We are so close, we can't stop now. You mean you can't stop, even if it means I'm the one getting hurt. Check her backpack. It's right over there. Wait, what's going on? Following up on a tip. What? Why? What's going on? Molly, someone said you cheated on your exam. You can't just go through my stuff. I say this counts. This is the answer key for your midterm, right, Sophia? No, I didn't. What do you- We have a zero tolerance policy for cheating at Crown Lake. This is an automatic suspension with a review for expulsion. Until that time, you are under house arrest. Not allowed to leave the room. You need to stop obsessing. Can I see the riddle? Please. You're going crazy. Read the message from my pen. What happened before will happen again. Here's a question for the scholar. How much copper in a dollar? Now you know the time and where, but to find the way into my lair, you must stare into my nom de guerre. Remove the man, reverse taro, or flames within Crown Lake will glow. It's just nonsense. Forget about it. How much copper's in a dollar? Pennies are made out of copper. A hundred pennies go into a dollar. A hundred. The centennial. Something bad is going to happen tonight. No, Molly, she's only doing this because you're after her. If you stop, she'll stop. There's too much at stake. Me, I'm at stake. She's hurting me to get to you. But I guess that doesn't matter. I guess your game is more important to you than I am. Ari. Remember, tonight's dinner is arguably the most important event of the school year, so everything has to be perfect. Um, where do you want this sign? <laughs> Reese, it's donor, not Donner. Wait, you sure it's wrong? Remember US history? The Donner party ended in cannibalism, genius. 
Don't worry, we'll fix it, Lex. Curiouser and curiouser. And find a way into my lair. The keypad obviously goes to the old boiler room. Stare into my nom de guerre. Nom de guerre. The name someone assumes for combat. Heather! Heather is her fake name. Staring in. H E A T H E R. Now remove the man. The man? Who's the man? Hank? No. Who is he? Out there? No. Staring in. The he in. He in. Now we verse Taro. What is Taro? Molly, you need to see this. Taro, what is Taro? It's Greek to me. Greek, yes. Yes? Yes, Greek letters. Ta is T. Ro is R. Now we verse the T and the R. Heart? Can I see your phone? H E A R T. Four, three, two, seven, eight. This is the code. This is how we get in. Get in where? Look, Molly, can you please pay attention? This is important. Someone posted to the White Rabbit using your phone again. And I tracked its current location somewhere between the library and the events hall. That's where the fire that killed Lucy started. It's the old boiler room. I couldn't do this without you, thank you. Did I completely blow it as your older sister this semester? No, Lex, I mean, I'm proud of you. Why are we hugging? We were having a moment. <laughs> I'll track her location and let you know where she is. Mommy, are you with it? Is that mistress? Hide, hide. Molly, I have a guest for you. Watch out for the punch. We cannot run out of punch. And apples? Are we good on apples? We better be. Ari, you're the first face our guests will see. So warmth, poise, and calm, no matter what. Check names, hand over ticket. And smile. Don't forget to smile. Got it. Hi, Ari. Here's your ticket. You're all set. Nick, I didn't know you were coming. I didn't either, but Headmistress Baker called and told me about our little dilemma. Can I come in? I'll let you guys talk. Thank you. So, what are you doing here? I still have friends here. Some of them owe me favors, including your headmistress. So you give them money, make a few calls, and I'm back in. This is so corrupt. No. But relationships matter, Molly. Come with me tonight and play nice. Ball's in court, kid. Just tell me how you want to play. Wait, where's my mom? Don't worry, I didn't tell her. Fine, I'll play. See you down there in 20. You do have a dress, right? Can I borrow a dress?
What? You look nice, that's all. Oh, thanks. I'm Ari. This is my stepdad, Nick. Ariane Lee. Nice to meet you. Can I talk to Ari just for like two seconds? What are you doing here? Nick's last ditch effort to keep me from coming home. Molly, that's great. Whatever you need to do, you should do it. No, Ari, this is serious. Something bad is going to happen and I can't do anything about it if I'm here. Molly. Ari, this is not a joke. I have proof. Listen. If you disappear tonight, you'll definitely get kicked out. I'd rather get kicked out than have someone get killed. I'll go. Give me the stuff. No, it's too dangerous. What will Electra say? Molly, there's some people here you should meet. You stay and fix things. Electra will be fine. I can't be afraid of what other people think. I'm going. I'll go too. No thanks, I'm good. It'll be safer with two. You're not going alone. I love some, thanks. Glassy, Molly has hardworking friends. Why would you say that? I'm just trying to do something nice for you. You're trying to keep me from coming home. Is that what you really think? It's obvious. I was a lot like you. I was lost and made mistakes. But I got a second chance once, and it changed my life. Even Tiffany needed help at one point. Help my family gave her by paying her tuition. I didn't know that. They believed in her. And I believe you deserve a solid chance to be here. It's up to you. There should be a door up ahead. The code is 43278. Ready? Four, three, two, seven, eight. What is this thing? I think it's a computer. The space bar says press me. No! Don't do it! Gotcha! Hello? Hello? Lisa? Ari? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Can we talk? Not a great time. Please, Danny. What's going on? She's starting. I guess it's an electronic lock. It won't open until the power comes back on. Is that smoke? Help! Someone let us out! Please help! Help! Please! We're trapped! We're trapped! Someone let us out! Please help! We're trapped! Apologize for this temporary outage. Please remain calm and enjoy some lovely ambiance. <coughs> oh. 
backup generator isn't working. Just stay calm. It'll be back soon. Be careful. Danny, where's your dad? I don't know. I think he went to go pick up something in town. Do you think you know how to reset the fuse box? I could try. Okay, the breaker box is in the basement. Go down the south stairs. The fuse box is all the way down the hall. You can't miss it. If you hear from your father, tell him I need him. Wait, I'm coming. I don't need your help. I don't care. My friends are down there. I'm going with you. Hi, this is Lisa. Hey. I can't come to the phone right now, but... Oh, no. Heather. There's no service. It's a total dead zone. Help, help, somebody! It's useless. No one can hear us. But Morgan and Molly know that we're down here and they need to be able to find us. It might be a while. Save your oxygen. Get to the boiler room. No, we're supposed to find the breaker box. It's a diversion. I'll explain later, but please just trust me. Why should I trust you? Because I'm begging you. Fine. How could they not have a backup generator? People are starting to leave. It's okay. We just gotta turn the vibe around. Do you trust me? I guess this night can't get any worse. Give me your phone. Pick up. Come on, Morgan. At the tone. Voicemail. Your Morgan, it's Molly. It was a trap. Ari and Lisa are in serious danger. We're on the way to find them now. Danny knows how to get there. Call me back. We're headed into serious danger, huh? You're ridiculous. Guys, that was something. <coughs> now I know this isn't how any of us expected the night to go, but hey, we're a hundred years old today. So let's celebrate. Ooh. Wow, here we go. I'm still getting in here. There's a door, maybe we can pick the lock? I don't understand who makes a room that you can only lock from the outside. A psychopath, that's who. I messed up. It was worth a shot. No, I mean, I messed up on us. Oh, yeah, that's the understatement of the century. I know I ruin everything royally, but I never ever stop caring about you or missing you. I'm just having trouble believing you. I get it. That's my fault too. We should keep going. I was sent down here to do this. Look, I'm sorry, but I really don't think... Molly! Lisa and Ari are stuck in the boiler room, and it looks like Heather's heading straight there. We have to get there first. Share your location, and I'll track Denny's phone. But please, be careful. Don't touch that! How do we fix it? I don't think we can. It's too dangerous. We have to keep going to the boiler room. Fine. It should be right up there. Is that smoke? Listen, <coughs> I'm sorry too. You, why? Because I know how your parents are and I still kissed you. I kissed you back. I know, but 
I shouldn't have put you in that position in the first place. It's my fault. Ari, you don't have a selfish bond in your body. You probably care way too much about what other people are feeling. You're kind and funny and amazing. And I've been the worst friend ever. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We're gonna die, aren't we? No, 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 no! Get out of there now! can't go this way, we'll pass out. We need to, I have to get to them. If anything happens to them, it's all gonna be my fault. We'll find them. We just have to go back. Trust me. <coughs> I bet you regret coming with me tonight. <coughs> I regret a lot of things, but <coughs> being here with you isn't one of them. <coughs> really? I wasted so much time this semester when all I ever wanted was to be with you. Me too. Oh my god. Heather. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get out of here. No! No, she's getting away! Down here. It's a long story. Ari, I really thought you were dead. Me too. I'm so sorry I ever doubted you. You crushed that. Thanks. Well, that was eventful. Thanks for the quick thinking, both of you. Let's get this party back on track, shall we? Of course, I'd mistress. You. I was so Phenomenal. I was freaking out. What? I had no time pre to prepare. Like, two years. Thank you, Electra. It's good to know that someone else cares about the school as much as I do. But no good deed goes unpunished. Time to pay the piper.